Like the most miserable people. Upset. Very upset. Super sketchy in here. We have the border of Azerbaijan where they sacrificed humans. How does it look? Georgia, the birthplace of wine, honey, and Joseph Stalin. With everything that's been happening with Russia recently, is this country safe for tourists? Is it inexpensive? Most importantly, is it even worth visiting? We're Sumner and Alley, and for the next three months, we are embarking on an epic adventure across the country to uncover its secrets. Last week, we explored the interesting city of Tbilisi, and today, our journey takes us to the ancient kingdom and oldest wine region on the planet. Welcome to Kacheti. And we begin our adventure here in the heart of the Kacheti wine region. Specifically, we're here at the City of Love, also known as the Love of City by some of the locals, uh, called Signagi, which is this old town atop this hill that overlooks the... The Alazani Valley. Beautiful views already as we were driving in. Oh yeah, absolutely. And our plan is to kind of explore the city, obviously sample some wine here in the region, see some other iconic sites, and share our experiences with you. Now, let's explore. How does it look? Beautiful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're climbing up this tower uh, to try to get a better view of the city. Look at this, super sketchy in here. Like all these floorboards are breaking. I just heard someone break uh, one of these here like in a second ago. And it's pretty dimly lit, so yeah, if you are going up any of these towers, watch out. And Ali made it. Yay. <laughs> Check this out. Beautiful view of the wine valley. And there's actually four kilometers of this old wall that protected the city for centuries. Super beautiful. And what's so cool is right over here in this direction, we have the border of Azerbaijan not far away at all. It's actually closer than our hotel. And then over in this direction, you can't really see it because of the clouds, but there's a mountain range that actually divides Georgia from Russia. So we have the Azerbaijan and Russian border right here in the Kakheti region. Um, super cool. So if you go around Tbilisi or here in Kakheti, all around you see this snack hanging and we don't know the day, but this is a very typical kind of snack or dessert here in Georgia. And what it is are walnuts covered in this grape with honey mixture, kind of like a jelly. So nuts with jelly and a tongue, and you just kind of go at it and eat it off of the string. So we're gonna give it a try. Mm. Ooh, a little bit sweet, like just enough sweetness. It's very good. I really, really like it though. I give this a 8 out of 10. And the kind woman here who doesn't want to be filmed uh, showed us all the different kinds of chorchela here, which is the name. And as you can see, we already have the one here made of a red wine grape that we already dug into. Here we have kiwi and pomegranate, which are much more sweet, but not traditional. Here's mostly made with honey in the middle with that bright kind of color. And then over here is another type of grape variety. So obviously all different kinds to choose from. Obviously, we really love the one that we chose, uh, but really cool food, culture, history here in Georgia. I'm so blown away by everything. Now, let's taste some more. Ali and I are now here at Cavrelli Wine Cave which is a top rated kind of winery here in the Kakheti region. So we showed up and got rushed into this tour. Uh, it was like 13 bucks for two people. And basically what this includes is a tour of the wine cave, some history and two wine tastings of traditional Georgian wine. Yeah. Cause wine was actually created here 8,000 years ago. I know, oh my God, yeah. I had no idea. And using some of the similar, I think, grape varieties and techniques that they used 8,000 years ago, we're gonna kind of sample yeah. some similar-ish. Which is like with that clay, that big clay exactly. that's Exactly, yeah, what makes Georgian 
wine traditional is number one, obviously the grapes that are used here native to the region, but then also this kind of big clay or terracotta pot that the wine is kind of made in. So we're gonna be sampling that specific authentic Georgian wine, which we're super pumped for and kind of exploring the ground. So let's go. Okay, so a little hack. Traditional Georgian wine is made with these bottles, or this is how it's bottled, where the more Western style is with these bottles, right? You can kind of tell by the top of the bottles. You can see the difference there. So these over here and these can be made with the same grape, but this is with the kind of clay pot, and these are in, I think, stainless steel or some different processes, a bit more Western, so. And also, apparently, all Georgian traditional wine is dry wine. Really interesting. Okay, so we're now in a bus approaching the Kresi Monastery. Okay, basically here's the deal. So you can either walk 30 minutes from the base all the way uphill to the top of the monastery. Which is super steep, by the way. Yeah. And we're already tired of walks work, okay, we're not doing that. Or you can pay three lari per person to take a bus up to the top, which is where we are now. So anyway, here's the point. This car comes, you know, from the left. Stop. Woman gets stops, woman gets out of the car, points at the bus driver, starts yelling at him. The, the, so upset. Yeah, and the bus driver rolls down the window and starts screaming at this woman. Like, I've never, I don't know if I've ever heard someone yell so loudly and harshly at somebody. To the one that, is, to someone who's right next to them. Yeah, and we were like, well, we, we now moved it back of the bus, but we were right in front of it. Like, yeah. oh my gosh, it's so loud. Crazy. Um, anyway, it was like five minutes and then rolled down the window and we're on our way now, but. Yeah, I don't know. There's this stereotype that Georgians are very hospitable, friendly people. To be totally honest, so far, there's been some great Georgians we've met here in the country. Especially, we've we've yeah, encountered ha ha just like nicer with Tbilisi, ones. half have been great yeah. and half just seen like the most miserable people. Upset, everything. very upset. Yep, sad, upset, angry all the time. Not trying to like be negative or anything. Again, it's like a mix. <laughs> yeah. <okay. laughs> and I think we're almost there. Nekresi Monastery, super peaceful, beautiful, and specifically the most beautiful view of the valley that I've seen so far today. Definitely, oh my God. Some of the most lush green land I've ever seen in my life. Like really, even like really similar kind of like Costa Rica and parts of Brazil that we've been really gorgeous and you have you know the birds chirping and the beautiful yeah. kind of ground so and, and there's something about the air here that feels so clean so like I don't know I, we we were just talking about that it reminds us of Costa Rica in yeah. the clean air that we were able to smell there and also just as the majority of places we've been in Georgia there's no charge for you to enter not even anyone asking for donations or anything so aside from the optional bus ride only three lati it's completely free, but if you are gonna go inside the church, then you need to cover your shoulders and knees for both men, men and, and women. women. For sure. And for women, you need to cover your head. So if you don't bring anything, or if you're wearing shorts or anything, they do have coverings here that you can just borrow to use it while you go in. But man, I love, I love this so far. But now, let's see which church is more beautiful.
drive away from the monastery, we arrive at our last stop, which is Grammy's Archangel Complex. It is a medieval complex that consists of a church and a fortress that was built to be the capital of the Kingdom of Cajeti. So I actually had no idea when we first came here that this used to be a kingdom. Very cool to be able to see the capital. Yeah, and the inside of the church, which is kind of the main part of the complex, is very, very beautiful as well. Very similar to kind of the interior of the church of the monastery yeah. with kind of those old frescoes kind of deteriorating uh, along the walls, but super cool and beautiful. The best word that I can use to describe Cajeti so far is magical, really. Yes. like kingdoms, vineyards, the rolling mountains. hills, oh mountains, you know, cows and, and sheep. sheep in the distance. It's, oh man, it's, it's wow. It's perfect for a road trip for sure. Like there are those places wow. that you know you're gonna just delight in the views as you drive. That's for sure. one of those. Yeah, and if you're planning visiting Tbilisi in the capital, it's definitely worth, even if you take a day trip out and back to Tbilisi or come out this way, oh my gosh, definitely worth it. I think. I think I like it even more than Tbilisi, but it's a totally different vibe. Yeah, it's a definitely, definitely a different vibe. And now it's time to feast on some delicious Georgian cuisine. Oh my gosh, everything looks and smells amazing. amazing. So what we have first, Ali has some, what is this called? Bozbashi. Bozbashi, which is like this soup with beef and lamb. lamb. Yes, oh, looks amazing. Of course, got some more uh, assortment of local Georgian cheeses. Of course, there's cheese and wine, right? Uh, and Georgia's known for having some amazing cheese. Here, I have shik maruli, yeah. which is this chicken in garlic sauce. And uh, of course, so some more wine. wine. <laughs> Georgian, of course, only. From what we've seen from Georgian food so far, Zibilisi, as well as Kakheti, very unique and very, very different from anything I've seen. Yes. Um, and very, very diverse. So it's super interesting. And yeah, let's dig in. Final thoughts on Cajeti. I go first? Okay. Yeah. Wow, I'm so, so glad that we came. It was different than I expected. In a few different ways, I'm not even sure what I expected, but it has been so beautiful. I've loved that we did a road trip out of this because the views are incredible, the air feels nice, especially now in the spring with the flowers. Love it, love it, love it. The different places we've been, I also loved. They are a little bit further from one another, so it was nicer. I, I would recommend perhaps spending like a couple of nights in the area so you can fully enjoy everything, but love it. I did not know that Georgia had that type of country. And one random note is that I felt so free in the country of Georgia, kind of like now we're literally <laughs> walking through like some vineyards on the, in the middle of a road and there's not really that fear or constraint that I feel in other places. I feel very free. People have been nice in general. We've had good and bad experiences, but the place itself, love it. What did you think? Yeah, no, I agree with pretty much everything. Honestly, it was above expectations. If it wasn't, yes. We'd be caught, totally honest here on this channel if it wasn't. Yes. But it was more beautiful. Like the mountains were bigger than I expected. I don't know, the vastness of the land. Yeah. Uh, really did enjoy Georgian wine. Like now it's actually one of my favorite wines. I liked it better than a lot of the wine that I tried like in Argentina or some other places. So yeah, yeah wine is really cool. Obviously I love the history. Yes. It's just so cool with the kind of the monasteries and churches as well. It's not just like, you know, like Napa Valley or in Argentina and South Africa. There's some of those yeah. beautiful newer buildings, but having that his history there as well is just, um, yeah, yeah. now I did think we were talking about this. We thought that it was going to be a little bit more medieval, like the old towns. Didn't feel like that as much, like maybe parts of Croatia that we went to, but still beautiful, very quaint. Now it definitely feels like more of a summer destination because True. even now, like many places were so empty. That's a good point. Yeah, no, totally. 
I think it seems a lot of uh, pools in a lot of these vineyards and hotel that we were staying in and all these places yeah. uh, that obviously not really as warm enough to do yet. But one of the benefits is, yeah, there's a lot less people now during this time of year. And it says in the forecast that it should be like just dropping rain all the time. Yeah. It's been on and off like all day, but it's uh, overall been really great weather. Yeah. So it is a bit more peaceful here at the end of spring, but I think, yeah, definitely summer. And then obviously fall when you actually harvest, the colors start changing. I think might be the, especially the best time uh, to visit the Kakadi region. Yeah. But regardless, it's still an amazing time. Super glad that we came. If you're coming to Tbilisi, 100% worth going out, even if you do kind of one day trip in and out. Yeah. Um, but yeah, really blown away so far by Georgia. And be sure to join us on our next adventure north to Stepitzminda, one of the most iconic places in the country. So as always, thanks so much for watching. God bless. We look forward to seeing you in the next adventure. Bye. Bye.